The Component 1 Rich Text box can edit formatted text as HTML and RTF documents. Patterned after the document class in WPF, C1 Rich Text Box is a powerful rich text editor with support for inline images, lists, hyperlinks, borders, tables, and more. In this video, I will show you how to get up and running with C1 Rich Text Box. First, I'll show you how to connect the control to the C1 Rich Text Box toolbar for quick, complete editing and formatting capability. Then, I'll show how to get and set the text programmatically, as well as apply a theme to the control. So let's get started. Open a new or existing WPF or Silverlight application and add the C1 Rich Text Box control to the page. Before we add the toolbar, let's define two rows, one for the toolbar and one for the Rich Text Box. The top row's height can be set to Auto. Now, let's add the C1 Rich Text Box toolbar control to the top row. We can fix the layout by removing the margins and alignments so that the control fills the space. Next, we need to connect the toolbar to the Rich Text Box. We do this by binding the Rich Text Box property on the toolbar to the name of our C1 Rich Text Box control. By setting the element name, we can bind to a control on our page. And now we have a fully working rich text box. The C1 Rich Text Box toolbar supports the most common commands for editing, font and paragraph formatting, and object inserting. It really is a time saver, but you're also free to create your own customized toolbar as well. If you'd prefer a different style for the toolbar, you can apply one of the many themes included with the studio. For example, let's apply an Office 2013 theme to the toolbar. To do this, you should first add a reference to the Office 2013 theming library that installs with Studio for WPF or Silverlight. You need to add the base C1 theming library as well. Once you've added the references, you can very easily apply a theme in XAML by simply declaring the theme and wrapping it around your UI elements. This is not the only way to apply a theme. In another video on theming, I'll show you how to theme your entire application with just one line of code. And just like that, we've changed the style of our toolbar. Finally, in this video, I'll show you how to get and set the text of the control programmatically. The C1 Rich Text Box control allows you to create, load, and save back different formats, including plain text, RTF, and HTML. The control uses special filter classes that convert each format to and from a single C1 document class. For HTML, you can set the content by setting the HTML property. There's also the setHTML method, which additionally allows you to specify a URI base for images contained within the document. For plain text, you can just set the text property. For RTF and other formats, you need to use a provided filter class directly and convert your RTF string into a C1 document that can be loaded into the control. Here I'm using the RTF filter class with the convert to document method to load text and the convert from document method to export text back. Remember that regardless of what format you use, C1 Rich Text Box converts it to a C1 document object that allows it to be edited. When you export, the document is converted back to the desired format. This model allows you to load one format and easily export it as another. That's all for this introductory video. You can find more resources like documentation and samples at our.component1.com.